Hey everybody, it is Winter Mute. Oh boy. Um, okay, my my brand new glasses broke. They just fell literally fell apart on me, so I'm wearing my work glasses so I can still see. So that's why these look weird. Um, <laughs> but don't focus on them. Focus on my voice because I got a lot to say. So He Man Revelations Part Two. It is in fact worse than worse than Part One. Let's just throw that out there right now. Didn't think this was possible. I actually watched the trailer. And I even said to myself, you know what? Maybe they'll be able, maybe they'll be able to kind of pull it back a little. Maybe they'll kind of rein in some of the craziness and, and weirdness and bad writing of the, the 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 part one. No, 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 no. It is worse. They ramped it up to 11, 11 and a half. I mean, it is it is bad. It is horrible. Um, and I really didn't think this was possible. I, I really didn't. Um, uh, okay, and, and let me just say from the beginning, spoilers. Uh, although the biggest spoiler is that this is suck, sucks and don't waste your time. Um, I called it, I called it, I called the plot. Tila was going to become the new sorceress. There you go. I called it. Um, and that's not even an original plot. They actually had that as like a subplot in one of the like comic books or something. Um, this show does nothing original with He-Man. Nothing. It is all a, a, you want to watch a good show that has all of these same con, uh, very similar concepts. Go watch Netflix's She-Ra. That show rocks from start to finish. It is awesome from start to finish. I absolutely love it. Okay. This wishes it, is, it was that show. Everything this show does, that show did better. Better. Way better. Um, it, was, it was better writing, better animation, better, more intelligent, uh, more emotional. Um, so right off the bat, you start watching this and, I'm, and, and they've got, again, it's just thing happens, thing happens, thing happens, things ha thing happens. There's no emotional investment in any of this by the viewer. There cannot be. It's just one thing after another. And they give you these scenes, and I know intellectually I'm supposed to feel something for these characters, but I just don't. I don't. You, 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 you jerked me around so badly with the first one, I just, I, I can't fathom why you would expect me to give two shits about any of these characters. None of them. Absolutely zero. I, I, okay, great, that character died, who cares? Okay, great, this character does this or betrays this character, who cares? Who cares? It's just one thing after another. There's no, there's no buildup. There's no, um, there's no groundwork on an emotional level that gives you any sort of investment with these characters. It's just, oh yeah, this character just went through this. And so they're a little traumatized and they need some moment to, to kind of connect with their buddies and whatnot. It's like, okay, you're telling me that you're not actually, you're not, you're not letting me experience it with that character. You're just telling me that it's happening. Uh, I can't feel anything for these people. They're, 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 just, they're just cardboard cutout cliches of, of, of characters that were much better when they were originally written back in the, uh, the 80s. With the original series. I, I, I don't care. I, I don't care. And it wouldn't be so... I mean, obviously, had the first part been so good, that would have changed this. But again, it just picks up kind of right where it left off. And it's just like, yeah, yeah, who cares? Whatever, who cares? Sure, whatever. Thing A happens, thing B happens, thing C happens. And we just kind of keep the plot going. We're just checking these boxes. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have these emotional scenes that mean nothing to the person, nothing to the character or to the, the viewers. Um, and, and the characters themselves were, were so dumb as to be unbelievable. Uh, the, the logical, now, of course, humans can be logically inconsistent and they can hold very, uh, 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 you know, opposite beliefs at the same time that, that actually do conflict with each other and they can, they can make it work. We can make it work in our head because of, of the, you know, our, our brains are, our emotions are capable of doing that. The thing is, and it's perfectly okay to write a character who is erratic and who is irrational and does not make logical sense. That makes sense. That, that works with, with particular characters and situations. But when the majority of your characters are so illogical, 
it's just bad writing. It, you can tell the writer, the person who wrote this, is an, is an illogical person who cannot stream one thought, one coherent thought to another coherent thought to another coherent thought and have it kind of make, make logical sense. No, 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 it's just thing, 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 thing. It is, it is bizarre, the thing that, they, that the way that, he, that the, uh, these characters were written. The things they say, they will make a statement. They will then counter that statement with the very next sentence, and then they will go back to that original sentence, or excuse me, original uh, statement, that original sentence, uh, sentiment, that original idea with the third sentence, and then they will break it again. I mean, it is all over the place. I, I, I'm literally laughing out loud, <coughs> wondering to myself, did... Did the writer intend this to be this cringy, this bad? I mean, is the sorceress supposed to be this crazy? I mean, she she's literally, she'll say something and then she undermines it and then she says it again and then she undermines it again. It's it's like four sentences in a row that are just just all over the place. I'm like... Was this really the intent to make this character seem this stupid? It is bad. It is super bad. And and you know this whole uh, uh, so, so and, I mean that's just, that that got oddly enough and really it's mostly the the, the the good guys the good guys who who suffer from this. The bad guys are actually consistent. They're very consistent. I mean really this show is about it's it's really about the relate okay. It's not really about, but you had one good idea in this show that they executed relatively well, and that is the, the relationship between Skeletor, Evelyn, and Beastman, and the way they, that they kind of like interact with each other. More so the way Skeletor uh, uh, interacts with Evil Lynn and then the way Beastman interacts with Evil Lynn. This is genuinely an interesting story an interesting story and the relationship between these three and they actually managed to execute this one relatively well, which is in stark contrast to all the other garbage going on. I mean, you will literally have these, these, these kind of like thought provoking, well-written, actually somewhat emotionally important scenes between the villains and then you cut to the good guys having their emotionally important scene. And it's like watching a really bad after school special. The writing is horrible. The emotions are garbage. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. There is no... I, I honestly believe Evelyn's uh, a, 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 an abused... A abused spouse, basically. She's she's in a, a an abusive relationship with Skeletor, uh, and then they don't they don't. I mean, basically, they 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 go out of their way. Uh, they don't go out of their way. They they make it clear that this is a, a this is a dysfunctional, uh, abusive relationship uh, uh, between Skeletor and and Evil Lynn. Which, okay, I, I get that. That makes sense. That works for these characters. That is consistent with these characters. That is consistent with their personalities. And when they're talking about it and they're they're they're, they're explaining it, 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 it makes sense. And then you jump over to the good guys, and it's just like, oh God, who cares about these people? Seriously, who cares? Shut up and go back to the good stuff. I I I could not fathom how the writing could be actually decent in this part with the villains. And then as soon as you get to the good guys, forget it. It, it just done. <laughs> uh yeah, and 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 then and then they actually almost completely screwed that up with an cringy, disturbing exchange between uh, uh, Evil Lynn and, and Skeletor, where they confirm. Now, I don't have a problem with uh, uh, sex scenes in general, so long as they make sense within the overall story. Um, Eternals made this mistake. They had a, a completely pointless sex scene. It should not have been in the movie. It should be cut from the movie, honestly. And, and, and quite frankly, the fact that they put this in there was stupid. It, was, it, was actually, it actually made me sit there in the theater and go, wow, this is, this is completely unnecessary. 
and gratuitous. Well, guess what? He-Man Revelations has a completely stupid and gratuitous almost sex scene. They do confirm that uh, Evil Lynn and Skeletor have a physical relationship. I won't use the term intimate because it, it's not intimate. But it is physical. And it's like, oh, okay. They, they could have... That's something that they probably could have done better alluding to. And, going, and, and for the adult fans, have them go, oh, gotcha. Uh, I understand. You know, but no, no, they, they, took it, they took it a little bit too far. Not all the way, but they still took it a little too far. And it was like, oh, this is, this is uncomfortable. This is, this is uncomfortable to watch and listen to. And he's going to fall for this? Oh, it was, it was, it was just like, this, this is not, this doesn't need to be here. This doesn't need to be here at all. This is stupid. My kids actually watch this show. Okay, Kawhi, because it's He-Man. Now I understood that they're taking this up a level. Um, and I don't treat my kids like they're stupid. You know, I, I, I'm ready to deal with difficult questions should they come up. Uh, and they have. That's going to happen when you have kids. Um, but it's also, like, like, I won't let them watch, like, I, I don't want them to watch The Eternals. Because there is a completely unnecessary, one scene, one scene makes me not want my kids to watch that movie. Not that they're stupid. I mean, they understand how breeding works because, hell, they watch Pokemon. They just don't know the gruesome details. But, you know, so, so this is kind of like, ugh, this is, this is, this, I'm not okay with this. This is, this is creepy and bizarre. Uh, so you had one good, good subplot, and then that was it. Everything else was garbage. Just garbage. Um, again, they continue to shit on these characters. Um, the, uh, and I, 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 okay, what, what were some good points? Mark Hamill's in it. Right. Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill does a good job of Skeletor. I'm not going to say he, 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 he hits a home run with it, but he does do a good job. And, and I grew up listening to the original Skeletor, whose voice was definitely a little more high-pitched and uh, whiny. And so maybe that's what I'm used to. Um, but, but he does a good job. He does do a good job. Um, most of the voice actors were okay. Some were, but some were bad. Uh, the King and Queen. Uh, and Alicia Silverstone is a... She's a fine actress. But you could tell she was trying to make her voice sound older than what it really is. Now I know I think I think she's probably in her fifties now, um, but she doesn't. She sure doesn't sound like it. Uh, she you know she sounds like she still has a young woman's voice, uh, and I've seen her in some more recent roles. And, and yeah, she still sounds like very young, but she was trying to make her voice sound older to play a much older queen who probably is in her. I'm guessing in her sixties, and it it was it was awful, awful. And whoever they got to play the king. Just has no, no presence to his voice at all whatsoever. No presence. Like, like, it, it, like, it felt like a, a nine-year-old could have been saying these lines, and it would have had, it would, it would have, you know, you know, you get some voice actors, and, and you know that that's an important thing with acting is you pair up the right person with the right role. Same thing with voice acting, you pair up the right person with the right role. And both of these, both the king and queen, were complete misses, a cringy complete misses. And I, I, like I said, Alicia Silverstone, I don't have anything against her as an actress. I don't know the person who did the king's voice. I, I have no doubt he's probably a decent actor, but this was not a good casting for them. And that's, yeah, it, 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 was, it was horrible. Um, yeah, and then it tried to get, and then, and, and so, but that's it. So, so that's it. That's all you got. You got, you got some you, decent voice actors. The action was stupid. I mean, the action was just stupid. I, I, I couldn't get into it at all. Um, you know, and, and again, I grew up watching He-Man. I understand the type of action it is. It's not like, you know, it's not like I expected it to be as, as, you, you know, uh, uh, eloquent as a, as a Jackie Tan, Chan movie, but no, it was just stupid. It was just stupid. And, you know, it's like, it, it was all, we've, we've all, and everything that happened, we saw in the first one, so really nothing there. Um, the show tried to get a little philosophical at one point, too, which was cringy. Uh, Evil Lynn has this, like, existential breakdown as she realizes there is no meaning to the universe. 
again, they really didn't establish this kind of thought process with her previously. They needed to establish this stuff first with this character and, and, and drop hints at her nihilism. Her, in, her ability to become so nihilistic. They should have, they should have dropped hints that... They, no, no, no. They literally tell you. They just tell you this is what's going on in her mind. This is lazy writing. This is like... There are so many basic writing mistakes in this, in this series. It is truly, truly uh, amateur, amateur hour in, in all the negative ways. And, and I pet amateurs on the back. My favorite author was basically an amateur his entire career, okay? He, he never really broke into the mainstream. But this, these people with this production company, with this money, with this backing, with some of the names attached to this project should have done better. This was garbage. Uh, so, so yeah, they tried to get a little spiritual, and they, but again, like I'm saying, they, it was garbage. They never built this into this character. They never established this with this character. They, they, you know, and, and again, she was probably the most interesting character overall. They could have wrote her much better as it was. She was, she was the best character overall in the whole series. And yet she was still badly written. What does that say about the series? What does that say? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's it. They're trying to get a little spiritual at one point, too, which I thought was stupid. And the writing is just stupid. They establish in the very first series, the, the, the first part, that heaven is, a, is literally a physical place you can go to in this universe. And that hell is, is basically a physical place you can go to. Now, my understanding is, is everybody in the universe knows, everybody within Eternia knows this. And yet, Evil Lynn, at one point, tries to free them from the shackles of spirituality by destroying heaven. If heaven is physically a literal place you can get to, you can, you can, there are path doorways and passages to get there then there is no such thing as spirit. That's not spirituality. That there's nothing spiritual about it. No, it's right over there. Yeah, I'm working to get in there. That's not spirituality. Okay, that's simply following the law. <coughs> that's like saying I don't murder people. Uh, uh, be, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I expect a reward in the afterlife because I don't murder people. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. That is a, a, a spiritual moral belief that, that, that a lot of people hold. Or it's a moral belief that comes from, in part comes from spirituality. But if you are somebody who grew up in a world where uh, the law simply says don't murder because heaven is right there and heaven says don't murder or you're not going to get in here, well, then there's no spirituality. You're simply following the law. What? It's like, who writes this crap? How do you not logically see the problem with this? The, the things these characters are saying and doing, it is it is re utterly ridiculous. It makes no sense. Her, you know, Evil Lynn, even though she is the most, she's the most well fleshed out character, is still stupid in what she says and does because it doesn't make sense. To, and it's not that kind of makes sense as in somebody being irrational, like I said before, and they're just that's well, they they don't think straight. They're they're very emotional, or 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 they they can hold these opposite beliefs and still you know think that they're they're coherent in their their logical processes. This is just bad writing. This is the writer not being able to do that. And let's not even talk about the the, the this god. I mean, man at arms and the sorceress are evil. Evil, horrible people. Evil people. They had a child knowing, knowing that this child uh, had, had no choice in her life but to take, over, take on the mantle of being sorceress. That is so messed up. What is wrong with you people? That is, that is vile to do that to a child. Truly vile. So those characters for me are forever tainted, forever ruined. I hate them with such a passion. That is, that is, and how, again, how is this ever considered an appropriate thing for a parent to do to a child? 
oh yeah, we had you so so that you have to take on this this magical mantle and become imprisoned in the castle of Grayskull someday. <coughs> and believing that's how it was going to work out. You are sick. You are sick parents to do that to your child. Truly, truly sick parents. So those characters are ruined. Okay, so fuck that too. Uh, and then, <laughs> who? We haven't even got into the good stuff yet. The, the thing that really just, just, ooh. So the ending. The ending, they leave it, they leave it with a little bit of a cliffhanger so they can introduce a new villain. You want to guess who it is? You'll, you'll know him. You'll know him if you're into He-Man and She-Ra. Yeah. Hordak. Please, for the love of, 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 of whatever you want, whatever, God, your mother, whatever, just for the love, do not let the producers of this show touch even one shred of intellectual property from she beyond the damage they have already done. You do not, the, the, the producers and writers of this show do not, do not deserve another chance. And to even risk, risk doing something crazy stupid with she when we already have the gem that is she from from Netflix, don't, please don't do it. This is, this is infuriating. Okay, so that is that is my emotional kind of, you know, visceral reaction to that. Do not, you don't deserve these characters. You don't deserve to screw up anything else. Now, let's take it to a logical point. Evelyn and or Skeletor, whenever they had all the power in the universe, were literally going to destroy everything everything and they brought it back from the brink what is Hordak going to do that who, who can give a fuck who can care who, who cares who cares you, you, you literally already messed with the fabric of reality and saved the day and the world is saved and, and you really think you really think Hordak is going to be a better villain than Skeletor within this when you've already literally had saved the all of it all of reality all of existence that god why you've already you've already raised the stakes so much that there's there's nothing there's nothing left just don't please don't do this don't do this don't let them do this netflix end this end this now this is horrible this is i i, I and there are, there is there's more i can come up with this is, I, I literally just finished watching it an hour ago, made a couple notes, sat down and started filming. If I actually gave myself a little bit more time, I could do another 20, 30 minutes of, of, of all the other problems that this show had. I, I could break each one down a little bit further. There were other things that kind of bugged me, like the, the technology, and yet they're literally, the, the men at arms are literally throwing spears when they have a, when they have a gun right there. Why are you throwing a spear? Fear when you have a gun right there. That is what is going on here? This is this is a a a this is this is fanboy fic. This is fan fiction. This is like The Last Jedi. This is I don't know. This might be worse than The Last Jedi. The whole the whole project might be worse than The Last Jedi. And that's really saying something. That's really saying something because The Last Jedi might be the second worst movie I've ever seen in my life. The first one being Avatar, that, that fucking blue movie. Yeah. Uh, uh, and for this to actually actually possibly be worse than The Last Jedi is really saying something. I, I can't believe that this ever got off the ground. I can't believe this ever got, got this far. This is, this is terrible. Terrible. Uh, and if I didn't say it before, it sucks. I'm I, I am legitimately angry at this. I am legitimately angry at this. I, 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 <laughs> it's bad. Okay, this is winter mute out. Or I'm just gonna keep on. I'm just gonna. I, I'm like stuck in this. Like I can't believe this happened. I can't believe this happened. This really happened. This happened. This happened. All right, everybody. This is winter mute out.